Hello, we're going to do our current events lesson. So I have a short video to show you, and then we'll do the worksheet. Next, science and fashion. The artificial dyes used to make clothing are efficient and cheap. They're commonly seen in fast fashion, inexpensive and trendy clothes worn for a season or two. But it takes a lot of water to process these dyes. It creates a lot of waste, and it can lead to chemicals seeping into the environment. Are bacteria-colored clothes a viable alternative? What happens when you take a designer and place them in a biological scientific environment, that's when you get a new way of thinking that can catalyze innovation. Bacteria produce pigment. I became very interested with um, microbes that seep it out because that seemed like a very uh, low tech way of actually accessing that color. Streptomyces sedicolor is an organism that's normally found in the soil. It gives beetroot its flavor, uh, it's the smell of rain just before a thunderstorm, and produces this beautiful sky blue pigment. <coughs> we quickly discovered that it could dye textiles with about 500 times less water than what ordinarily happens in industry. We are at the Department of Biochemical Engineering at University College London. So researchers here are looking at how synthetic biology, a design of living systems, can offer us nature-driven ways of doing the sorts of things that chemicals normally do. Streptomyces sedicolor produces color within seven days. It can ferment in a, a liquid broth of nutrients, and that's when those cells start to divide. After a certain point, if something is triggered, it starts to produce that pigment. You can grow the organism directly onto the textile. And if you start to direct where those organisms are, you can start to design patterns and uh, prints to start to design with biology in quite a compelling way. We can create a range of different colors by tweaking the pH. Low pH results in more blue, colors uh, towards the, the purple spectrum and uh, something that's a slightly higher pH is going to deliver bright vibrant pinks and um, even reds. I think what's so fascinating about textiles is that they have always been artifacts that are sort of beyond this material that might look nice. They tell us about where we are with our technology. If we look at what knitting was in the 1900s compared to what we can do now with 3D forms, massive leaps have happened. There are new spaces opening up for designers um, to invite this interdisciplinary sharing of ideas. I think that's where creativity has an amazing space to expand. Okay, that's the new story. That was interesting. Now we're gonna go ahead and complete the worksheet. Whoops. Here under life skills, current events worksheet. Okay, this is our current events worksheet, so I'm going to print my name. And when was the news? Sometimes it's not always clear, but when it asks you when the news was, if it was a news story that was posted today, you could say today, which would be Friday. And it was posted just a few hours ago. So even if it's something that had taken place before, some, or it's something that's ongoing, we can still say today. So October 2, 2020, was it local, national, or world? It wasn't specific. It wasn't here close by in California. And I don't know about national. That was more a, a world news story. It was somewhere in the world. Okay. And what was this? news about people, places, technology, animals, health, sports, food, and it doesn't have other, because I don't know if it really goes in any of these categories, technology, but not really. It's more um, science. It's science. So I don't know. Cool technology maybe or 
more about science. We'll put science slash technology. Who was the news about? Was it about a political figure, a celebrity, athlete, employee, student, parent, or other? Well, I guess we'll say other. I think it was more about people that were trying to develop this new way of dyeing clothes or using bacteria to dye clothes, which you would call that maybe a scientist. Scientists. And how did today's news make you feel? Happy, sad, excited, angry, or worried? I would say that wasn't a bad news story. Maybe happy, because they, they're coming up with new ways and maybe better ways of doing things. So it could be good. Okay, so that's our current events for today, and I will see you soon for PE.